Happy Sunday, everybody. Welcome to In Stitches. Uh, today I'm going to do an applique star because Jesse Sunshine asked me to do a star, so I'm going to do one. And um, it's just as quick as the last one, it's only two rows. I'm going to post the a uh, scrap of a pattern I put together in the information box and if you have any questions please let me know in the comment area and if you want to see something else ask and I'll try to do it okay let's jump into it okay so I whipped this up actually while I was setting up the camera here this morning um, it's one of these I don't know if you can see that uh, trying to make it as clear as possible but really simple like the heart it's two rows it starts with a cinch circle um, or a magic circle there's tutorials for that all over the place uh, but i will try my very best to make sure i do it as clearly as possible um, so i'm going to use my favorite hook once again it's a 4.25 millimeter hook or a g6 um, and i'm going to use a nice four worsted weight yarn this is like a, a three ply um, it's nice and uh, it's not too thick, not too skinny. It's good for something like this. Um, this I ma obviously made my leg warmers um, and that was a really chunky uh, crochet. So if I'm gonna make something like an applique, um, I want it to, to sort of retain its shape. I don't want it to be fluffy and I don't want there to be a lot of holes in it. So I want a, a hook that'll give me a nice tight stitch and I want a yarn that will um, not be fluffy or bulky because I'm trying to get across a specific shape. So um, let's just jump right into it here. So we're going to start with a cinch circle and you make a loop and you grab your hook, go through the loop, grab the string and bring it back so it looks sort of like this. And then you wrap your string around your hook and pull it through that little loop. And sometimes that's easier said than done. It looks like that. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. Um, I'm going to start um, this a little smaller. Um, so once you get good at this, you can basically you just do your little loop through the loop, grab the string, looks like that, grab and through. Okay. Into this circle, so into your, your cinch circle, you're going to single crochet a total of 10 single crochets. So you're starting with a base of 10. So here we go. One, two, I like to crochet over my little tail too. Three, four, five, come back here. Six, seven. Now I'm going to close up my circle a little bit just to make it a little more manageable. Eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so once you've done your ten single crochet, you're going to grab your little tail, hold your work close to your hook, and tell, pull. Get this nice tight circle. Then you're going to slip stitch into the first single crochet from the previous row. There we go. Again, I'm going to work over my tail. All right, so now you've got this nice closed 10 single crochet beginner circle. Okay, so row two and final row. Chain four. One, two, three, four. Into the second chain from the hook, so if you can see that, but this one right here, you're going to slip stitch, which is you just insert your hook and grab the yarn and pull it through both. Then you're going to single crochet into the next stitch, and then you're going to half double crochet into the last chain. So wrap through that loop, grab the yarn, you have three loops on your hook grab the yarn and go through all three. Into the next stitch, uh, the next stitch on your, your circle, you're going to slip stitch. And actually, I'm just going to do that over top of the little yarn behind. Slip stitch. 
and you've made your first star point. So let's hope you can see that. There you go. First star point. You're going to do that four more times. So you're going to slip stitch into the next next chain or the next uh, single crochet and you're going to chain four and you're going to slip stitch into the second chain from the hook single crochet into this third chain from the hook and half double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook and you're going to slip stitch into the next single crochet from row one and then you're going to do it again so slip stitch into the next okay so you see you've got two points made yeah now we're going to chain four one two three four okay single or slip stitch I should say single crochet and then half double right three on the loop then you're going to slip stitch into that next stitch so see and then slip stitch into the one next to that and do it all over again chain four one two three four yeah Sing slip stitch into the second single into the third and half double into the fourth slip stitch into the next slip stitch again now we're going to do the final point in this star see we've got four of them done now one two three four chains slip stitch into the second single into the third half double crochet into the fourth slip and you're done so you're going to fasten off now if you're like me and you want to like you want to applicate onto your whatever uh, your hats or your <laughs> stockings or even if you want to machine stitch it down to something um, if you actually if you're going to machine machine stitch it down to something cut your string short and then weave them in around the back like I did with this one because this one's ready to be machine stitched onto something but I'm actually going to sew this with it, its yarn onto um, my existing knitwear because um, this is crocheted from uh, this pro previous project so I can easily like pick up little loops to sew it down so I'm going to cut a nice long string just like that and I'm going to grab it and pull it through my loop like that and fasten off and there you go your little star looks a bit like a starfish is uh, ready to be sewn on to whatever you want all right I hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, I'm sorry for the slightly grainy picture um, and uh, if you want to see something else done um, for heaven's sakes ask me in the comments and uh, let me know what you thought of this one. Please like and subscribe. I'm going to be doing a little more complicated stuff down the road, like my bombs and uh, my little mice here. Actually, I've made a bunch of these already, and I'm I have one on in a hair clip. But we'll uh, we'll get to that down the road. Um, yeah, let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see, and uh, I'll do endeavor to do something as simple and as quick as I possibly can, so that you can have that to add to your repertoire of crochet projects. All right, thanks very much, guys, and uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks.